Sir, sir, time to wake up. When my son was seven years old, there was a moment when the doctor said, I don't know what to do with him. I don't know why you were sent here. And he just walked out of the room. At that moment, Seth looked at me and he just cried. And he said, Mom, what is wrong with me? And as a parent, it tore my heart out. And I said, there's nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong going inside of you. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Originally, Seth developed some nodules under his skin. They were very painful, and it escalated to full-blown autoimmune disease that I hadn't heard of before, but it was destruction of cells to never return again, which has left him from the knees down, very compromised, disfigured, and disabled. Invasive test after invasive test, he kept getting worse and worse. To watch him digress like that and feel so helpless is just the worst feeling as a parent. The thought that we could lose him was unimaginable. <laughs> So we ended up going back to our regular physician and she said, don't lose hope. If anyone can help you, it would be Mayo Clinic. It's been a challenge to go out of state, 600 miles round trip for his care. He's developed epilepsy and we see a neurologist for that and he's got intestinal issues so we see gastro for that and bone issues we see ortho and then we have a fabulous doctor, Dr. Fisher, that's over all of it and his care has been extraordinary. And then during one of our conversations, he had mentioned the Children's Heart Project, and I just had to go home and research what this was all about. And we decided as a family we wanted to be a part of this exciting project. And just that connection there, that I could give hope to another mother that is struggling to find care for her child and is in a situation where she can't get that care, I know what it's like to do, to be there. For many years, our family had a thrift store, and we used those funds to help support gospel-centered missions, and we were very excited to be able to use those funds for Children's Heart Project. I explained to them, your brother is able to get care, but these children aren't. That's not a resource that's available to them. Do you want to help with them getting care? Because, because of your sacrifice, you earned money that we can give to them. And the children were so excited. There are seven kids, and all of the kids have raised money for three children from Mongolia to have life-saving heart surgery at Mayo Clinic. They've gone outside of themselves to help other children who have life-threatening illnesses. We helped out a lot at the store. Getting to be able to help the kids getting here and getting treatment is just awesome. We started to pray for these children that we didn't know their names, but they were coming to Rochester, our home away from home, and they were seeing the doctors at Mayo Clinic that we have seen, praying them through surgeries and just learning about Mongolia. It was just a whole new world for them that it really made, a, made it personal for our family.
We missed to meet you. Here on a trip to Mayo Clinic, the Bales family were able to meet the three Mongolian children and their moms and aunt and get to know them a little bit. We are so excited to be a part of this. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, not me. Not the plan. The home for hot thing. Almost to scotch your son, they almost am the Saham the Lucotis and the almost dead to stem chich. Be what got your stabbing is a stitch. Man, I shot Mana takes my third thing. No, yeah, baby, no more shot. It's the good little sad. While we were all together, Atta and Sarah wanted to be baptized. So he privileges your friends to baptize you in the name of the Father, It was a wonderful time of coming together and seeing what this project is all about. It was just such a sense of purpose and closure. It was just one of the greatest nights of my life, one that I won't soon forget. Yeah, I think it's a good thing.